In today's video, we'll see how to install Xenomer on PFSense. In my blog, I have given all the information. So you can click on Xenomer from the link here and it will open here. So you can just click on get started for free and you will see here single line command will help you to install Xenomer on PFSense. You will simply copy this command but remove this sudo from here. So sudo will be removed and then you can simply copy this command and paste it. Open this shell. Once this is done, it will install four packages. First of all, it will install the repository. It will up update the repository packages. After this, it will install Xenomer and lastly, it will install the Xenomer agent. Once the agent is installed, you will need to register to the cloud so using this command. So you can see here this one, you have to simply copy and paste this command. Now it is collecting the server information. Here you will enter the user ID and then the password here and press enter. Sending the registration request. Now it will, will wait for this and you can see here registration to the cloud portal is successful and authentication token has been stored. Now my PFSense is already connected to Xenomer and this was the quick and easy installation of Xenomer on PFSense. After this step, you can get started by simply clicking on Xenomer here in the step-by-step -step guide. You can click here to get started and click on sign up and just simply click on login. Once I'm logged in, I'll be able to see my firewalls here. Click on my firewalls and here you can see here that this particular node has started appearing here. And this node is the PFSense. So I'll name it PFSense Home Lab. And the reporting database uh, will be using the SQL Lite. Supports up to 100 devices. This is fine. And deployment mode, I'll be choosing a routed mode L3. Up to 100 devices. Okay, VTNet 0 is for WAN. So I'll be choosing here WAN. And VTNet 1 will be LAN. And add firewall. Now it is configuring the firewall. We'll just wait for it. And you can see here successful. Now I'll be able to monitor all the traffic. I can monitor the statistics of PFSense firewall also. CPU usage, disk utilization, memory usage. All the information is available here. All the reports, network management cloud services and all the threats. If threats are detected, whatever is being blocked, I can do that also. All the live sessions, all the web traffic. And if I go here to configuration, if you have the subscription key, you can just click here and add your subscription. Okay, here is the subscription key that I have added. It, it shows that activation key successful, restarting your packet engine now and your license key is rechecked. Now if I see here policies, so right now default policy is applied in case I want to create a new policy or in case I want to copy and create a new policy from here. If you have any feedback related to this video or related to Xenomer series, or if you want me to cover anything specific to Xenomer, please give me your feedback in the comment section below. If this video has helped you to understand Xenomer in depth, don't forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.